Okay, I just thought I'd make this video because I see a few people making this mistake and it'll be easier for me to refer back to it at a later date. Um, I had to work all this out the hard way and it's just a little bit easier to explain it like this. So on the screens, we have a bunch of R154s. These two here are older R154s. These two are newer, and you can currently buy these new, okay? So this is a what's called a non-remote, so non-remote shifter, and they were in early 70s Supras and Sauras. You've then got what's called a remote, which has this bit hanging off, and it bolts on down here. Um... I think W58s have the same shifter and maybe V160s, but we're talking about R154s at the moment. So there it is there. The way you can tell is it's got this bracket coming off the back. And if you look at where the shifter position is, it's all the way back here. So kind of look in relation to here. It's a long way away. And then the remote, if you look from here to here, uh, in comparison, so the end of the gearbox is here. This is way over the back the remote shifter would be hanging off back here. So, Suprasora, non-remote. JZX90, remote. Now onto the newer gearboxes. JZX110, still called a non-remote, but if you have a look at the shifter position, it's still up here. So this one is only about 10 mil forwards of the remote. And if we turn to here, this is a JZX100 remote. So the shifter position on this is the same as this, but the difference between these two gearboxes and those two gearboxes is these six bolts on top. That shifter will go onto that gearbox you can see it's got the, the provisions for the thing to bolt on. And that shifter will go onto this gearbox, but these shifters will not go onto these gearboxes and these shifters will not go onto these gearboxes because they changed the bolt spacing of these six bolts here. So when you're going to buy a shifter, you can actually get uh, this top piece here for the remote shifter, but you need to have the correct base for the year of the gearbox. So if you've got a JZX90, you need the bottom piece to fit JZX90 box. Or if you've got one of these non-remote boxes and you're trying to put this on and you buy this shifter and these six bolts don't line up, it's because this bottom piece here is from a JZX100 box. Okay, so does that make sense? Those two are essentially the same box. Those shifters are interchangeable. And these gearboxes are the same. Those shifters are interchangeable. Now, the JZX110 shifter position, I believe, is only about... 10 millimeters in front of where the JZX100 remote shifter position is. So what do you do if you have one of these newer boxes and you need this shifter position here? Well, there's some aftermarket solutions, um, but there is also, just to throw a spanner in the works, another gearbox, and that is the R150 or 151 from a two-wheel drive Hilux. If you have a look here, this six bolt pattern is the same as the JZX110 and the JZX100, uh, but it's got the shifter itself has like a, de uh, like a dog leg because this is out of a ute. And also this gearbox comes in two different input shaft lengths. The most common one is a short input shaft. It will not work in place of an R154. 
Uh, so you either need to change the input shaft, which is what I'm doing with my stepson's box and what I did uh, with my mate's gearbox, um, or you can find the uh, gearbox with the 190 millimeter input shaft, and that will then work with an R154 bell housing. Uh, but like I said, if you've got one of those newer boxes, JZX 110 or 100, and you need the shifter right far forwards, you may be able to get one of these um, R150 or R151 shifter positions to work. Because if you have a look, so that's about there. And it's, it's in a sort of similar position. In fact, it's probably slightly forwards um, of the Suprasora early shifter position. Uh, and in fact, I have even seen a few different variants of this R150, R151 shifter position. Um, but there you go. I hope that clears up some confusion. The older gearboxes, the newer gearboxes, shifter positions. Um, also, if you are buying the shifter, there's a like there's a piece inside here that goes with the shifter. Um, so best to look at the exploded diagram and familiarize yourself. Uh, even, I believe the piece that works with this remote shift is different to this. It's like where the ball for the, like the, the shifter, it attaches to the shaft inside and the ball for the shifter goes into it. Uh, you need that piece that matches your shift lever and remote setup. So, I hope that was fairly clear and easy to understand. Uh, if you have any questions, put them below. Uh, if you found it helpful, leave me a like. If you want to see more of my very low-tech videos, click subscribe. Just click subscribe anyway. Um, you'll be doing me a favor. And uh, thanks for watching. Gearboxes.